<laughs> hey beer fans, Ashley here from sexton-brewing.ca and we are back with day nine of the Craft Beer Advent Calendar Belgium edition. Let's get into it. Boxes are in the hole right there. That's the ninth. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. This is a uh, tiny rebel. Tiny rebel? I want to say that. Uh, yes. Tiny rebel. I recognize the beer cap from last year's advent calendar. So this is tiny rebel paper plain Belgian West Coast IPA, 7.4% ABV. Uh, this has a best before date of July 22nd, 2020. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I have had a beer from Tiny Rebel before. Uh, I honestly can't remember what it was last year, but I think it was one of the earlier days from last year. Um, I don't think I have it on any social media whatsoever. Uh, but I do believe it was a pretty good beer. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a hop forward beer. So, uh, yeah, we're looking at a Belgian West Coast, uh, oh, Belgian West Coast IPA. Okay, cool. I'm going to dig this. Um, I'm a big fan of West Coast IPAs. Um, I don't really, uh, love like the, the polar opposite, like the New England style IPAs. I, I prefer like more of a malt caramel, uh, forward, uh, malt body with like piney, grapefruit, orange, uh, type of flavors and bitterness from it. So. Let's just see what we get. This is obviously going to have a Belgian nuance to it, so we shall see. I'm excited for this one. Because, you know, going into an advent calendar, you're not really expecting to get too much out of the way of like an IPA or even a pale, pale ale, since there's a little bit more hop forward. Um, given that with these calendars, they sort of have to sit in storage for, you know, a few months. They have to collect the beers, they have to put the boxes together, then they have to distribute them and whatnot so you know an IPA or anything like that is probably not the best beer for it but we'll, we will see how this stands up so uh, out of the glass we have a uh, like a slightly orange a light amber color very hazy uh, no light getting well not a lot of, I, I, I can see the carbonation streaming up um, so you do get some light coming through um, you know rather thin Oh, slightly off white head, uh, dense compact bubbles. That's the look to it. Let's get a sniff. So on the nose, I'm getting like heavy orange notes, um, like heavy candied orange, slight, slight lemon, nothing too crazy tropical. Getting a slight, um, a slight, everything's slight here. Uh, getting a little bit of a, uh, like a clove nuance, maybe a little bit, uh, like a sort of a generic spiciness from, from the, like a, from the yeast. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's get into it. Cheers. Hmm. Flavor went a little sideways on that one. I'm getting almost like a white wine, white wine type of flavor to it. Right, like right off the bat on the sip. Very interesting. Yeah. White wine, a little bit acidic. Um, the orange sort of carries through a little bit, getting a touch of like bready biscuitiness from from the malt. Um, not getting that typical West Coast sort of piney grapefruit bitterness that I was expecting from it. So to me, this is more of like an. an an interpretation of a West Coast IPA. Um, I'm not too sure what malts they're using, but I do know that, where the, where's Tiny Rebel based out of? Where are they based out of? Oh, fuck. It doesn't say here. I'm sure it says here somewhere. 
So I'm wondering whether or not they're using like more locally uh, sourced hops, i.e. are they from the UK and, and using like UK hops or are they from New Zealand, Australia using Australian hops? I'm not too sure. Um, but for me, this I, I wouldn't say that this leans more on the West Coast side. I would say it's more of an East Coast, but not... Um, not with like the creamy smoothiness or anything like that just because it, it it just it it's just not lending those like really heavy bittering grapefruit and pine leaning characteristics that you'd expect from a west coast ipa now that aside excuse me it's a tasty ipa and i appreciate that it's a little bit different because yeah i'm definitely picking up on the like this white wine vibe to it it's really interesting I'm not too sure where that comes from, to be to be honest. But um, overall, I guess you know, if we're looking for a different hop-forward, slightly non-traditional IPA, I think this sort of fits the bill. You sort of get um, you know some different flavors uh, from whatever hops they're using. You are still getting from like a Belgian yeasty characteristics of. Uh, not so much on the bubblegum side of things, but a little bit more on the spicier side of things. And actually for the ABV, what, what's the ABV on this one? 7.4%. Couldn't tell you it's 7.4%. So I would appreciate that quite a bit. So day nine, a tiny rebel, uh, paper planes, Belgian West Coast IPA. Very interesting beer. Until tomorrow. Tomorrow is day number 10. We shall see what we get then. Have yourselves a good one. Cheers. Cheers.